Wells Fargo committed significant fraud, to say the least. I'm going to tell you what they did. Uh, and their CEO decided that he was going to go in the Senate. Now, of course, he didn't want to go. He was called there. His name is John Stumpf. And he, met, he ran into Elizabeth Warren, and I can assure you uh, that he did not want to do that either and regrets it, I'm sure. So you're going to see her uh, go after him in a second. But first, let me give you context. So what happened at Wells Fargo? Well, there was a widespread scheme in which thousands of bankers opened more than 2 million accounts for customers without them knowing over the last five years. And that's at least five years. So once we found out about this uh, gigantic fraud going on in Wells Fargo, what happened? Well, 5,300 employees were fired for their involvement. Now, you're going to be shocked to find out no executives were fired. All those low-level employees decided on their own, hey, let's commit wide-scale fraud all at the same time, all together, but not coordinate with any of the executives. Yeah, that's likely. Okay. So uh, we caught them. And so we did a, a fine, they got a $185 million fine, which they agreed to pay. So uh, they're not going to agree to pay it if they didn't do it. There's, and they're not going to fire all those people if they didn't do it. They most certainly did do it. There's no question about that. So how did management incentivize this fraud? Well, the incentive to open fake accounts was strong, as uh, Huffington Post explains. Wells Fargo bankers received quarterly bonuses for what they called cross-selling, okay? And so let's give you more details on that. They say some forged signatures and committed identity theft to open fraudulent bank accounts while under pressure to meet sales targets or be fired. So get a load of this, right? Wells Fargo executives say, go sell all this stuff. I don't care how you sell it. I don't care what you do to sell it. Otherwise, you're going to be fired. Oh, you did the fraud that we kind of encouraged you to do, uh, and then we got caught. You're fired. Okay, uh, now... <laughs> Were they really high-paying executives, as the CEO claims, which is what he did today? He said, oh, I mean, they were, they were not executives, but they were high-paying, uh, high-paid employees. Well, here, let me give you the details. These employees, Stumpf explained, uh, earlier in the committee hearing, were, quote, well-paid, making between thirty dollars and $60,000 a year. Wow. Stumpf, on the other hand, made nineteen point three. million million dollars in 2015. Okay, now Elizabeth Warren is going to ask the questions we probably would have asked. You and I were dying to ask these bankers, really, how about you, big guy? And she did it. Finally, a senator on our side. Watch. Since this massive years-long scam came to light, you have said repeatedly, quote, I am accountable. But what have you actually done to hold yourself accountable? Have you resigned as CEO or chairman of Wells Fargo? The board, I serve have at the- Have you resigned? No, I have not. All right. Have you returned one nickel of the millions of dollars that you were paid while this scam was going on? Well, first of all, this was by 1% of our people I, and- That's and, not my question. And, my question, this is about responsibility. Have you returned one nickel of the millions of dollars that you were paid while this scam was going on? The, the board will take care Have of that. Have you returned one nickel of the money you earned while this scam was going on? And, and the board will do I will take that as a no then. Oh, the people's <laughs> elbow, man. Off the top rope in a cage match. What? No, no, did you return the money? Yeah, the board will do whatever it's going to do. But you say you took personal responsibility. How? You haven't resigned? You haven't given a nickel back? What does personal responsibility mean? You didn't do anything but fire the lowest level employees you have. That's personal responsibility? Oh, man, that is a sight for sore eyes. She's not even done. Go get them. This is about accountability. You should resign. You should give back the money that you took while this scam was going on, and you should be criminally investigated by both the Department of Justice and the Securities and Exchange Commission. Damn! You thought she was done? She ain't done. She's climbing back up on the cage. Oh, no, here it comes again. What? Sick to By the end, you're going to start to feel bad for him. I think she might have broken his hand, too. Did you see he had a cast on his hand? All right, another one. Hit him again. But you squeezed your employees to the breaking point 
So they would cheat customers, and you could drive up the value of your stock and put hundreds of millions of dollars in your own pocket. And when it all blew up, you kept your job, you kept your multi-million dollar bonuses, and you went on television to blame thousands of $12 an hour employees who were just trying to meet cross-sell quotas that made you rich. Leg drop! Bam! We haven't even done the suplex yet. Hit him with the suplex! The only way that Wall Street will change is if executives face jail time when they preside over massive frauds. Suplex! Boom! The reverse suplex! Okay, now these guys have been getting white glove treatment up on Capitol Hill forever. They get up there and they make their excuses. His excuses is, oh, it was just 1% of our employees and we fired them and it was all their fault. But she explains, wait a minute, they were making thirty to $60,000 and you were driving them with these quotas. You knew what the result was. And then you took all those ill-gotten gains and you paid yourself millions upon millions of dollars, 19 million in 2015 alone. And then you're going to tell me that even though you say you're personally responsible, you're actually not going to take any responsibility. Well, I'm not buying it. Here's what should happen. You should be fired or resigned, and I should put you in jail. Damn! Yes! And in fact, she beat him up so bad, the Republicans looked around and they were like, yeah, yeah, us too. Even Republican David Vitter was like, uh, yeah, wait, wait, there should be personal responsibility. Yeah, I can't believe you did that. God, man, how refreshing is it to have a representative represent us? There's a United States senator actually working on our behalf, saying the things we've all wanted to say. It, the exception, unfortunately, proves the rule. It's so startling when you see someone actually do their job as a politician that it, by the sheer contrast, it embarrasses the rest of the politicians that they've been treating these guys with kid gloves the whole time and never holding them to account. And that's why a lot of the other politicians can't stand Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders. Don't embarrass us. Let, let me keep taking this guy's money and letting him off the hook. Oh, there you go, pointing out the truth. Now let's see if anyone is ever going to do anything about it. You know Elizabeth Warren's right. Republicans agree. Voters, real Republicans. That's why you voted out. Eric Cantor put David Brad in. He ran against the banks. Conservatives agree, liberals agree, libertarians agree. They should stop stealing our money. Now, is the Obama administration going to do anything about it? I doubt it. If a Republican wins, do you think they're going to do anything about it? No way. Hillary Clinton wins, you think she's going to do anything about it? Very unlikely. Fair enough to say no way. If you don't get the money out of politics, the Elizabeth Warrens will always be the exception. Let's make them the rule by getting the money out. Stop the bribery and the corruption. Get free and fair elections. Can you imagine if most of the senators were like Elizabeth Warren? Wouldn't that be amazing? It actually can happen if you get the money out. Wolf-pack.com. Come with us. We've already got five states. We're going to get them all. We're going to get an amendment and we're going to fix this. And then you're going to have senators that represent you, and you're not going to believe how wonderful it is. Democracy, when it existed, was great. Let's bring it back. Wolf-Pack.com and Elizabeth Warren, you keep getting them. That was wonderful. Young Turks.